five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. are opening at Hangar R at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Industrial Area for the movement of the fully restored Northrop SM-62 Snark missile to its new home across the Cape to Hangar C on 14 May 2015. The Snark held the distinction of becoming the first operational United States intercontinental missile. The SNARK also played an important role in the development of launch facilities and infrastructure at Cape Canaveral. First films of the SNARK, intercontinental guided missile that already has been flown as far as 2,000 miles. With rocket boosters blasting, the Northrop SNARK heads out over the ocean. Once it reaches top speed, the awesome missile drops the rocket boosters, cruises along on its jet engine. When the boosters hit, duck. They... The Snark cruise missile was born in October 1945. At the time, the United States military began exploring several options for delivering nuclear weapons payloads over vast distances using unmanned vehicles. The snark is named for a fictional animal species created by Lewis Carroll in the nonsense poem The Hunting of the Snark way back in 1876. The missile itself weighed 15 tons and could carry a nuclear payload of up to 20 megatons. Since the snark was only destroyed if its warhead was used, the missile itself could be flown again and again as conditions warranted. This cost-saving feature led to the construction of the famous skid strip at Cape Canaveral. It is actually a runway, but the name skid strip has remained from the earliest days when snark winged missiles were returned to the Cape after launch. A simple landing gear with short metal pads or skids in place of wheels enabled the snark to be landed on the skid strip by radio control. Now not all the landings were successful, but enough were to more than justify the expense of building the 10,000 foot long strip. The name skid strip was coined and remains to this day. It has hosted landings from a wide variety of aircraft everything from missile deliveries to Air Force One. And it was only fitting that as the restored Snark made its trip to Hangar C, it used the skid strip to get there. The Snark still remains one of the best remembered programs in the history of the Cape. Not only will the skid strip name endure in honor of the missile, but so will tales of Snark infested water stemming from Snark failures, even though many of the Snarks were intended to drop there. So the Cape Canaveral Snark now joins its other esteemed companions inside Hangar C. Names like Jupiter, Atlas, Thor, and Apollo keep the oddly named Snark company as they await visitors to what was once the operational home of the Snark. And like these and many other rockets and missiles at Cape Canaveral, they are all part of America's proud history.